Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul with your Weekend Anomaly mission. Ah, it looks pretty corny. Let's go. We don't need to be doing that. Yeah, I'm in an abandoned station at the moment. I was uh, busy tracking down Beeblebum a while back, and, uh, well, that just didn't work out very well. So, we're out of here. Let's pull in the Anomaly and see what our mission is for the weekend. Fooled you, didn't I? Yep, and in case you're wondering, that little ship you see me in is my new latest starfighter that I built from scratch. I found it on a planet as I was looking for multi-tools, go figure. I found it as a crashed ship and then decided to use parts of it to turn it into this little guy. Radiant Pillar. And uh, built it out of other parts and decided to make it into the colors I like the most. So, not to mention the fact... With these colors, it looks a little bit like a Star Blaster from Guardians of the Galaxy, from the Nova Corps. So, decided to keep it that way. Anyway, let's see what our uh, mission is for the weekend. Um, yeah, I don't think the staff is going to be uh, cutting it. Let's go to something a little different here. There we go. That's better. Alright, what do we got for a mission? Looks like we're taming wild creatures. Taming wild creatures. Well, maybe they heard me a while ago. I haven't seen... We're going to go ahead and start this mission. This should be pretty easy. Uh, maybe they, they... I haven't seen a mission about collecting uh, Feceum in a long time. So, maybe they decided it was just a bit much. Who knows? I thought it was funny anyway. It was great for the jokes. Alright, it's going to pop us out of here. And we're going to end up in a system. So, we got to tame some wild creatures. We're going to need some... Well, we're going to need some food for these creatures. That's going to be number one. I'm going to guess... Let me see here. I'm going to guess it's going to be somewhere between 35 and... I don't know. I think last time they said 42. It's going to be north of 35 creatures, usually, that we'll have to tame. And there are tricks to it. So pay attention. Hmm, isn't that an interesting ball of uh, blue and yellow? Uh, activated copper. Yep, yep. That's it. All right, so this one, as you can see, it's clouding up as we go. This one is going to have some severe storms since it's activated copper. So watch for thunder and lightning, and for the good old, as we approach it, it's already starting up a storm right now. Uh, possible tornadoes and things like that. I can't see the ground. Coming in a little bit slower than usual, and I can land anywhere I want, basically. There we go. Is that... Oh, wow, we got storm crystals here, too. So, double whammy, folks. You get yourself some storm crystals while you're here if you need to, you know, get a little extra uh, in your coffers. If, you, if you're running a little low on storm crystals, go ahead and grab them. I am going to do so. Hey, look at that. I'll grab you, too. Uh, that's not what I was trying to do. Let me see. Uh, runic lens? Is that what I want? Hold on. Yeah, that's it. Got it. All right, let's go ahead and grab these guys. And four storm crystals, excellent. Great for making uh, warp hypercores, so grab them if you want to grab them. All right, now I need to check my inventory, and I've cleaned up a little bit in recent weeks. Not terribly great, but, you know, okay, there we go. This is what I'm looking for, creature pellets. What did that say? Do we have tornadoes coming in? Hey there. How do you know? It's a frisbee. Cool. And you can feed it. That's pretty neat. Wait a second. You can't get it for a pet, can you? Offer it food? Well, yeah, thank you. I know this extreme radiation detected. All right, we got to check this out. I don't know. How many animals do I have in my animal inventory? Let's find out. Uh, I got the big guy. I got uh, that guy. That guy. I got that guy. Ooh, got him. Nope. You know what? There are no animals I want to get rid of. Ooh, we can unlock more. Excellent. I did not know this. You can have up to 18 animals now. Well, fantastic. I will go ahead and do so. Let's unlock three of these. There we go. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have to get myself some more nanites sooner or later. Oh, and the storm's clearing, it looks like. Fantastic. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Got birds flying overhead. I want to check that guy out. I wonder if you can actually ride those creatures. That would be pretty cool. I'm on a floating frisbee. Let's try it out. I'm curious. Hello there. 
Okay, interact. And you can adopt. Unbelievable. Yep, I gotcha. Let's see, let's see. Can you you can ride it. No way. Okay. Let's get the love up. Give it a little extra palette. Alright, good deal. And let's see what happens when we ride this sucker. No way, this is too cool. <laughs> How does he go when he goes quick? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Can we... Can we go higher? No, I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Well, not the best to rise. Maybe on a flatter planet it might work better. But anyway, let's go ahead and put him away. I'll think about him later. I didn't need to do that, did I? Uh... Wow. That is hilarious. You have to pull up your sets now. And fit. Well, learn something new today, folks. I've been playing this for four, what, four years or something? Five years? Five, I think it's five years now. I still learned something new. All right, we need to find some ground-based animals. There's, ooh, one right there. No, I'm not trying to put a marker down. Okay. And we need to find, like, herds of them. Finding individual creatures like the one I just found is not going to do it. And these bird-like creatures aren't going to do it. So what are we going to do? Let's see. Hold on. That's 3 of 11. I think we need to check to see what kind of animals we have on this planet. Flying, underwater. We have three ground-based creatures. That... And two rare ones. So let's see if they happen to be anywhere else. We got a nice monolith down here. Uh, what kind of system is this? It's a Gex system, so that's not going to help us either. I was thinking about multi tools. Okay, there's another one. Okay. This just doesn't seem to be working out. There are no ground, there are, there's not enough ground based creatures to really do anything. So, guess what? We're going to try a little trick here. Now that you've approached this planet and gotten there, one of the tricks you can do is you can check the system out and see if there's any other planets that have creatures on it. For instance, this one. Let's take a look at it. We have to get a little closer. It's a blighted planet. And let me take a look at the rest. There's one over here. That doesn't look promising. No, desert planet. That's actually pretty good. That will probably do us just fine. There's a couple beyond us over here. Oh, oh wow, that one's way out there. Yeah, yeah. That might work too. But let's go to a closer planet. Let's go to the, this one right here. This desert planet. Desert planets tend to be high with creatures. So, you don't have to stay on the planet you're on. If you find that it's not going to be conducive to you finding animals like it wants you to. Like it says there, I need 39. I told you it's going to be somewhere between like 35 and 42. So, 39 animals. It's like right dead in the middle, isn't it? Yeah, almost. Go figure, right? So, find yourself just another planet to go to. As long as you don't leave the system, you should be okay. So, a little trick there. Let's drop in on this planet. I'm just going to find a flatter spot to land over here. This looks good. Alright. Let's take a look. And it may take a couple moments for some creatures to show up. But it looks like we already got one right there. It's a singular creature. Ah, okay, another one. Any more? Obviously, we got birds. Okay. Alright, looks like we got two of the seven creatures that we've found already. And there's a third one right there. Alright, so we've got a few creatures floating around over here, and there's more showing up now. Alright, and now I have, I think, number four. Is it number four? Nope. Let's find out. That's right, I did do that a while back. Food. We're going to put that on number seven. There we go. 
we get that creature already? Now there's only, looks like there's a few of them over here and that's it. So I want to get all the rest of these guys over here. Let's move out just a little bit and see if we can get some more creatures to surround us. There we go. That's looking better already. Okay. So watch the numbers climb. Let's get all these guys over here. Okay. We got a good group of creatures right here, don't we? Look at this. We even got more coming as we speak. All right, we got another one. Good, another one. Now what you do is you take your laser out. Scare him a little bit. And then immediately release some food. And guess what? More friends. See how easy that was? Wait till they all got it. Wait till that number stops moving up. Okay, we're at 24. Shoot, 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 shoot. Don't try not to hit the animals. There you go. Bolt caster will do it every time. Drop the food one more time. See how easy that is? So you don't have to start scouring the planet and going everywhere you need to go. Okay? Pretty simple, isn't it? Mission complete, that easily. So I do suggest just jumping over to a different planet that has more uh, fauna on the planet to be able to do that too. And you got it all set. Fairly straightforward, isn't it, folks? Pull in your anomaly. Pull in your anomaly. Get a little further out, then pull in your anomaly. There you go, okay. And we're on our way in. See how easy that is? And we're going to check out the Quicksilver Bender real quick, so stick with us just for a couple extra moments. And we'll make sure, we'll see where we are with the community. Unlocking the stuff in the community. Once again, the furthest parking space from the Nexus. I keep telling that to Hello Games. I would gladly pay a small fee every month. Have a closer parking space in single player mode. All right. So we complete the mission. 1800 Quicksilver is our is what we get. In this case, we get a salvage frigate module, so that's pretty cool. Add more space to your frigate if you need to. And let's check out our Quicksilver vendor. Number one on the list. And you'll see that we're working at getting this. Tier one, we're not quite there. We're not even at the halfway point. So we're going to get up there about here. You'll see that this is going to probably complete sometime this month. Probably, I'm going to guess, in about three weeks, two and a half weeks, give or take. And then these will be completed out. Okay? And then we're going to probably be looking at another, up, another update. Maybe Worlds Part 2, possibly? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe? Don't forget, we do have our expedition that is still running right now. I've already completed it one time through, so uh, with my regular save, so I don't have any missions there. Uh, looks like we got some more missions up there we can do that will add to the... Uh, community uh, in order to get the tiers unlocked, tier 1, 2, and 3. So go ahead and get some of those extra missions done if you wish. All right, real quick, another little trick just so you guys know. Some of you don't know this, but if you came from a system and you want to get back to it, just simply leave the Nexus, or the Anomaly, I should say, and it will throw you back into hyperspace and throw you back in the system you came from. So, and since I plan on doing some stuff in that general area, I'm going to go back here and have a little fun. And that is it for me. So we'll land at the space station. As we started, we will finish. And I don't think this guy does... Oh, he does do flips in hyperspace. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to be doing that more and more often. All right. There we go. We're back to our system here. As you can see, there are bases here. If you look at our map, if you're wondering where I am... At the top left corner and you'll see I'm literally 5,000 light years from the center of the Euclid galaxy. I'm going to be going on a little journey myself and heading through the center of the galaxy and trying to get to all the galaxies. I think that's my next mission. So I'm going to land here on this abandoned space station. We're going to call this mission done. There we go. 
as we come in. I want to thank you again all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe, and we will see you all again in the next video. Take care, everybody. See you tomorrow night at the live stream.